What we do is we basically bring the library out to children. It actually started when the founder of the Salvation Army saw people living on the street, children forced to work in factories. This year, we're going to honor the legacy of Dr. James Farmer with a scholarship. Setting up these thought leadership councils, it's the best way to effectively engage our members. Our teachers, I would put their educational qualifications and their training up against anybody. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Katherine Falk, market leader for Cox Communications in Northern Virginia. Thank you for joining us today. The Mason Enterprise Center is a university-based economic development enterprise that focuses the energy, skills, and intellectual capital of George Mason University on enterprise creation and expansion. Here to tell us about their programs is Regional Manager Carter McClure. Carter, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Catherine. It's good to be here. Good. Tell us about the Mason Enterprise Center. What is it? And tell us about its history. Sure. Happy to. The Mason Enterprise Center offers an environment that's a very nurturing environment for emerging businesses, whether they're in the high growth stage or the nascent stage of their startup. We offer them a space, a one-on-one -on -one counseling, workshops, networking, and the capacity for partnerships. So it's a a one-stop shop for your business. And you actually have in your Fairfax location many businesses. How many? Yes, we, we do. We have 60 startups that are located in our uh, incubator. We have another 70 that are associated with our incubator as part of our virtual network. So we're servicing close to 130 businesses, and they're not all startups. Several of them are high-growth opportunities that have grown to be million-dollar companies in our incubator. Amazing. What kind of services do you offer these entrepreneurs? That's a great question. We actually have in our incubator, we have the headquarters for the Virginia SBDC. We have the headquarters for the Virginia Procurement Technical Assistance Program and the Mentor Protege Program. These are our service partners. The reason why they're important is because every single day they're offering counseling to our entrepreneurs as well as community entrepreneurs, and they're doing this for free. So even if you're not in our incubator, you can still take part in our services. But along with that, we have workshops and seminars that are specific to growing your business that we offer every single month in the Mason Enterprise Center. And you were telling me that you have some great retired entrepreneurs who come in to counsel the businesses as well. We're very, very pleased to have SCORE as a partner of the Mason Enterprise Center. Uh, SCORE is actually a network of retired entrepreneurs and executives who dedicate their time to providing counseling, one-on-one -on -one counseling. This is discrete counseling to help you if you have any type of business problem from marketing to accounting to human resources. They do it three days a week in the Mason Enterprise Center. That's great. So what's the difference between a business incubator and a co-working space, and what is a business incubator? That's a great question. Uh, a business incubator is a community for entrepreneurs that also provides counseling and networking opportunities and access to capital. Now, co-working spaces are excellent because they also have a community for entrepreneurs, but it's not quite as in-depth or rigid because in an incubator there's due diligence on the front end that's required before a person is accepted into the incubator so that we can have better avenues for providing you with capital and support to help you with your business needs. Great. And what kind of due diligence is done? So there's all types of, first you have to fill out an application. There are meetings that you are, are, are required to participate in. You uh, give some disclosure regarding your growth, your idea, where you want to see your business going. So these are things that sometimes happen in a co-working space. A co-working space is a great place to start, but we like to see ourselves as where you should be when you're in the high growth area and you, we have dedicated office space beyond just working um, in a collaborative space. You have your own space where you can grow your business. That's great. And uh, the businesses there aren't just students, right? I mean, you're part of George Mason University, but yes. who is this available to? This is available to the entire community. So while we have students who, uh, who have started a business in our incubator, we have five of them, in fact, and we're very proud of the fact that they're in the incubator. 
We also have members of Mesa's faculty who have started a business who are part of our incubator. And we have community entrepreneurs that are all the way from Herndon all the way up through the northern, other parts of Northern Virginia who come and travel to our location just because they know how good our services are. And you were saying to me earlier, retirees as well. That's exactly right. We have many uh, veterans and uh, parts of the, the uh, uh, service community who are part of the incubator. We're proud to have retired generals. We're proud to have retired members of the Navy and, and Army and the Air Force. And that community, they feel that. They, they, uh, re they really respond to the fact that they have people who understand their background and get, it helps them to create collaborative that they would not normally be able to create. That's great. And what advice would you give to somebody who's starting a business? The best advice I would give you is do your homework. Do your homework. Understand your competition. Understanding the competitive analysis ex is extremely important. And what's also important is that you understand the problem that you are trying to solve. Big problem or small problem, you need to be, make sure that it's a problem that you have a solution for that will resonate with your audience. That's terrific. How can our viewers learn more about the Mason Enterprise Center and all the great services you have to offer? I would tell anyone to please visit our website. It's mecfairfax.org. From our website, you will see access to our events, access to information and a video library of different events that are occurring at the Mason Enterprise Center, our application to apply to be a part of the MEC. So it's a great way to get started. And is there a, a deadline for applying or is this a rolling admissions process? We keep our admissions process open. We, we're a 30,000 square foot facility, so we're the largest incubator that's part of a university in the entire Northern Virginia area. And your location is City of Fairfax? We're right in the City of Fairfax, proud to be in the City of Fairfax as a partnership between Mason and the City of Fairfax. We would not have it any other way. Great. Carter McClure, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Stay tuned. We have more Cox Connections after the break.